Hello everyone and welcome back to today's analysis. Now for the 25th episode, I am going to analyze none other than Kevin McAllister, the one of the main protagonists of the Home Alone franchise. Home Alone is often regarded as one of the best Christmas movies, if not one of the best Christmas franchises ever made. And Kevin McAllister is without a doubt a perfect representation that anyone, even children, can stand up for themselves. In this episode, I'm going to analyze all the information given about Kevin from both the 1990 original film, Home Alone, and the 1992 sequel, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. To better understand Kevin McAllister in his journey from a regular child with a troubled family life to the mini hero who saved his house and many others. Now without further ado, let's begin. Kevin McAllister was born in Chicago in 1982 to the McAllister family and from an early age he grown up into a very large family in the sense that in his house he didn't live to only he, his parents and his siblings but also his aunt, uncle and cousins for the simple fact that they didn't have enough money to sustain a house on their own. Plus the McAllister also needed more money in order to sustain their own house. Thus coming together to live in the same roof to, uh, to give a better existence for themselves and their own children. However, because of that, Kevin became somewhat of a black sheep in the family for the simple fact that he was always picked upon by the others, especially by his older brother Buzz, with his mother being so far the only family member that Kevin actually had somewhat of a genuine relationship with. However, the problems have escalated so bad that in the Christmas of 1990, the, almost all the McAllister family fled to the Christmas vacation, forgetting the 8 year old Kevin at home. Now home alone, Kevin tried his best to have the house all for himself and to enjoy his alone time, only to realize that he actually misses his family, not to mention that he also came in troubles with the two incompetent thieves, the wet bandits, Harry and Marv. Who was robbing, who were robbing the house in the neighborhood and picked on to rob the McAllister house. However, their one problem here is the fact that Kevin remained home alone. And in, order, and in order to defend his house, Kevin put numerous traps across the entire house in order to defeat both Harry and Marv, ultimately succeeding in protecting his house and getting Harry and Marv arrested. However, this wasn't the end of the problems for Kevin, as two years later in the Christmas of 1992, the McAllisters have forgot Kevin once again, as Kevin by accident took the wrong plane and arrived in New York, while the rest of his family was in Miami, Florida, for Christmas. And if that wasn't bad enough, Kevin has encountered the wet bandits once again, who managed to escape from jail. But now before I go any further, we all should stop and ask ourselves, is Kevin McAllister good? And no, I don't mean good at what he's doing. I mean good as a person, because many people remarked that some of the traps that he put could have outright killed the wet bandits. Now, it could be argued here that he is somewhat justified given that they were robbing his house and he was a single child that wanted him just to protect himself and, and the place that he lives. However, some of those traps were absolutely beyond justification, as many people commented that many of these traps could have outright killed Harry and Marv and perhaps might have shown that Kevin might have somewhat of sociopathic tendencies. However, he is outright a good person, not only from my point of view, but Kevin does everything he does in order to defend his house and generally loves his family, despite the bad mistreatment that he gets from them, ultimately proving that in the end, the answer is yes. Kevin is a good person, especially by the fact that he showed love and care to a homeless woman into the to Central Park further proves it. While he get himself into a hotel for Christmas and lied about the credit card was belonging to his father and later accidentally made everyone to believe that he stole it, result still although it's a bad thing to do, yet in his situation I think we all will have done proceed the same. And ultimately he managed to defeat Harry and Marv once again and this time not only save his house but to save an orphanage whose funds were going to be robbed by the white bandits, ultimately getting them arrested for the second, and let's hope now for one final time. So in the end, who is Kevin McAllister? He's nothing more but a simple ordinary child who got, who got left behind by accident, a simple child that eventually used his abilities and his creativity to overcome two incompetent thieves that were about to steal and rob and even murder him. As to a child, they can easily be classified as one of the most well-known, perhaps one of the most iconic protagonists in cinematic history. Thank you all for tuning this new episode in today's analysis. I hope you all guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give a like and subscribe everyone. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year everyone.
Bye bye. I'm gonna give you to the count of three to get your lousy, lying, low down, four flushing carcass out my door. One, two. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a happy new year. Stay in your rooms! This is an emergency! There's an insane guest with a gun!